often the splits are about the way um, borderline patients feel about other people. There's a very positive perspective that is then shifted to a very negative perspective, and the, there's a lot of difficulty in integrating those two points of view. And, and also, I would say, and accepting imperfect relationships, and also tremendous uh, schism between uh, uh, aspiration to be a certain kind of person themselves and the disappointment in feeling they're not living up to that. So I think the split is both about this, themselves and others. Um, but one can imagine that. If you think of a child who's born into the world unable to experience the pleasure of being soothed by the mother or father who is trying to soothe them, what happens is the mother and father are both, both the best thing that could possibly be in the kid's life because they are the caregivers, the feeders, the ones art articulating love, but they're also profound disappointments because what is the expected sense of pleasure from that, the expected pleasure that, that teaches a baby to be soothed in that moment is less available. So that, you can imagine how that would create a split because it's both the person is then somebody you love and, and your lifeline, but also somebody who is constantly disappointing you. And so that, that inability to find the middle ground, I can imagine being grounded in this difficulty in feeling social pleasure that starts with one's own primary caregiver.